Now, I'm going to... Uh, I've just got uh, another track um, that I want to introduce. It's on this uh, stick here. I'll just put the USB stick in the side of my computer. Uh, I'm just going to minimize the um, player there. And uh, I'm going to open a folder to view the files on the stick. Uh, and I've got a little folder here called New Tracks. And um, here I've got a MIDI file for uh, What Can I Say? And I've got a text file that's got the lyrics. So just grab those two files. Just dump them into the folder over here where my, all my music tracks are. And now if I go back to um, here, if I go back to my... Uh, secret track player and here is my song list and there it is there is the song that I just introduced from the um, USB stick so if I just play that hey presto the lyrics are there and let's see how this sounds once again I'm using the internal MIDI sounds here if you are really fussy about um, what particular sound module or sound modules is going to play your files, then this uh, software has got, uh, I think, eight or ten different MIDI ports. You can um, actually hook up a whole string of different MIDI devices if you want. You know, you could have your favourite sound modules uh, playing these MIDI files if you want. But if you don't want, if you want simplicity, you can use the onboard sounds. Uh, and then you can remix the onboard sounds if you want. So if I press F3, I've got the mixer here. So I don't want, uh, I don't want these guys making any um, sound or much sound. Actually, I can just hit the mute. I can hit mute there. Now they're gone. So if I want to turn the bass, so the bass is already up. Uh, yeah, so this would be my drum kit here. I'll turn the drums up a bit more, maybe. This is uh, the standard drum kit here. This is the name of the instruments over here on the right. And so we can change volume, panning, reverb, chorus. Uh, we can actually change the key of that uh, instrument. So if your bass is an octave too high or too low, you can change it up or down the octave. We can change the velocity offset to make an instrument more punchy or, or less. Um, this is the channels and this is the port. Like I said, there's uh, maybe eight or ten different ports we can choose if you want to send it off somewhere else. You could have, for example, your drums being played by some sort of external drum uh, module that you've got with your favourite drum sounds and you could use the rest on the internal MIDI or any combination of anything you want to do there. Okay. Alright, so I don't want this uh, window anymore. And by the way, these settings that I make here are just for this song and I don't even have to hit save. Next time I play this song, it's going to be set up just that way. So I've just introduced this song, What Can I Say? Um, look at that, the lyrics are already scrolling and uh, I've already done some adjustments to the mix and for all intents and purposes that might be it. I might not have to do anything else except maybe uh, add it into a set if I want to use it uh, in set list mode. All this stuff's really flexible. I can uh, choose how much of the screen is taken up by my set list or song list or how much I leave for the lyrics. You can even have these text files or lyrics here a display on a separate screen so that um, if you're uh, into karaoke or running a karaoke night or whatever, um, you just plug in the, uh, the second monitor into your, even to your little notebook computer and you can have the high definition screen um, elsewhere just displaying lyrics and the lyrics will scroll, etc. just the way you've got it set up. How good is that? Look, there's so many features in uh, my secret... Why do I call it my secret track player? Well, there's a good reason, uh, but that will become evident later. But um, if you're interested in, in buying this software, or if you'd like to buy a setup with this, you know, with a computer like this, with the software already loaded and ready to go, um, I'll even um, do a package with, um, with some tracks as well. So... All I can say at the moment is thanks for watching this introductory video. 
Um, as soon as I finish this one, I'm going to go and make some more videos um, showing you more of these features in depth. And you can see how clever this piece of software is and what a thoroughly useful tool it is for the on-stage musician.